Panel 23 refers to an error occurring when the inverter DC link is not properly charged. Check for low voltage received after installation. Channel 23 can be checked in the indoor and outdoor units and the wired remote control. The remote control displays CH and 23 alternately and the red LED flashes twice on the indoor units display window. The red and green LED lights of the outdoor unit's main PCB flash twice and three times, respectively. Make sure to inspect the circuit breaker, power line, and power supply as basic items for service checks. The single phase product should have 220 volt plus minus 10% when the LN phase is measured. The three-phase product should have a 380 volt plus minus 10% when two phases are measured. Excluding the N phase from the RSTN phases or a 220 volt plus minus 10% voltage when an RST phase is measured with the N phase. Check the connection of the harness that supplies the input power to the outdoor unit's main PCB, as well as that of the reactor harness. Then check the connection of the reactor in the inverter PCB unit. Generally, the DC link voltage is normal if it's more than 1.4 times the input voltage. For example, if the input voltage of the single phase product is 220 volt, a reading of 310 volt is normal. If 250 volt or less is displayed, the input and DC link voltages will decrease and the compressor can stop while running. This means the power generator capacity should be increased. Check if the input voltage of the LGMV data is more than 1.4 times the DC link's current voltage.